This video shows you how VisiCon can help you automatically compare columns. We're going to use a Revit versus ETABS example. Projects are modeled across many platforms, and the same columns are represented multiple times. Mismatched columns, however, can be a problem. For example, are they the same size and aligned correctly? How does their naming correlate in the various schedules and tables you're producing from the different software? How do the material properties match up in your various analytic representations? Comparing columns across models is not easy. You may have to compare Revit against eTabs, an IFC representation against Revit, or compare your two analytic models. There is a solution, however, Visicon's component matching report. You start by merging any set of models, select an elevation that you want to cut your comparison at, and Visicon will automatically create a detailed table listing all of the relevant column properties you're interested in comparing. Let's run through a quick example. We've switched to an instance of Viscon where I've already merged two models. Here on the right side, you can see I have my eTabs model superimposed onto my Revit model. And I can select any of the components. And as we've shown in other videos, you have access to all component properties on the left side, both your Revit and eTabs models. To create the report, we go under the Reports tab and say New Component Matching Report. I've already pre-configured the report here, so we say column comparison report for level nine. The way we configure that is we see here the elevation is 220 feet. Scrolling down, I'm comparing my Revit against my eTabs model. Scrolling down further, I see I can identify all of the different variables that I'm interested in comparing. Now again, I'm just picking these different variables that Visicon exposes from your models that you've imported. We wanna see the name of each column. On the Revit side of things, Revit components have a column location mark, a dimension B that's on the family level, and a dimension H. As far as ETABS is concerned, all of the section properties are defined in the line assignment section property. So once we've defined those, all we do is run the report. So the report's been generated. I'm gonna quickly rename these fields. So this is our Revit model. We know that that's model A against model B, which was our ETABS. The line assignment was unique to eTabs only, so we're going to go ahead and just to clean up this table, we're going to delete that column. And on the eTabs side, we know the location mark, dimension B and H are not relevant for our current comparison. What I've done now is distill this table to a concise listing of each of the columns. So here I can see this is column C1. It's at mark location A4 in Revit. It's a circular two and a half foot column. If I continue to the right, that same column is C19 in eTabs. It's defined as a 30 inch D column and the center to center offset is about a third of a foot. So what this does, is give, it gives me a concise way to compare any relevant property that I'm interested in and at the same time tells you what your offset is. So as a starting point, you can see if there are any column location mismatches by just looking for the larger offsets. If I scroll down, you can see that there's some rectangular columns at the center of the project. So I can see here that C10 is a 16 inch by 18 inch column as defined in Revit. However, in eTab, it's been assigned a 14 by 16 inch section. That's a problem. So one of these two models is not correct. I've now identified a potential discrepancy between these models and can send off a message to either the eTabs person or the Revit person to make that correction. Visicon helps structural engineers spend less time understanding and coordinating their models and more time on developing better projects. To download your trial, visit us at visicon.com or email us at info at visicon.com.